Hey, welcome to my first ever voiceover. In this video, I'm gonna try to walk you through my acrylic painting process. When I'm working on bigger paintings, I like to bring my concept sketch into Illustrator. Here, things get really flexible, so I like to add or remove things and see what I like or I don't. I can spice things up a bit, you know, move things around. And in the end, I am left with the perfect sketch I'm happy with. Once my sketch is ready, I scale it to the size I need and I then print it. So when printing, I make sure I click on the imageable area. That way I can get the bigger piece onto so many pages together and I can stitch them up later with tape or something. I also sound robotic as hell. That's because it's 12 a.m. and <laughs> this is my first time doing this. Back to the process. So everyday printers don't have any of this full bleed printing power, right? So you have to cut the whole thing yourself. Make sure you align things properly. I add a little bit of tape on top just so I know where things are and they don't move once I line them. You need sex when you have this. Fits perfectly. I'm gonna use this tracing paper. I'm, I'm gonna have to cut it somewhere. I'm gonna tape that down as well. And done. I'm gonna start tracing with the pen. I'm gonna go over this and then just make a line like that. So I know it's done. And I'm gonna just carry on now. Done, done. Hopefully I haven't missed anything because that's going to be a bummer but I'm going to take a little peek at it can't really concentrate on talking right now but oh it looks good okay I'm going to remove the top layer first final reveal let's see if I got it right that actually came up pretty good I'm actually super happy with the result I didn't miss any details lines are all visible and clear I'm really happy Ooh, I'm back. So here I'm using medium to make the surface a bit more smoother. More smoother. You use a hairdryer to dry up the whole thing faster. When it comes to background color, I usually pour more than what I need because I'd rather have the paint to cover the whole area than mix it again. Rest of the video is the whole painting process. And if you like it, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.